I wanted to get your insight into sustainability in business, how you can integrate it, maybe without losing anything. I think a lot of people are mm. worried about losing something. So I don't know what you've seen at Finder, but just curious to get your thoughts. You know, I think there's some easy decisions you can make. Review your energy of your company. You know, where do you buy your energy? And switching to green energy isn't terribly like more expensive. Um, another thing is, you know, reviewing just what you offer, like what, what sort of waste things could you potentially remove and encourage your customers to take some different choices. So if you align the two things together, then you can obviously start to, um, you know, be sustainable in that sense. Um, so just little things like that, I think there are little changes you can make and we obviously turn lights off and, you know, things like that. Just little basic things I think can, can really start to help. How do you market, you know, pickles is a niche market in Australia. How do you market a niche product within a niche range? I think one of the challenges of pickles um, for Australians was, and I'll just you know, historically give you the context, because I think context and cultural context is important. A lot of people think, when they think of pickles, they think of like the Macca's burgers, taking them out of the Macca's burgers and flicking them on the wall. That's where a lot of people thought about pickles. But so you need to, you need to overhaul the culture here. You need to start a revolution where pickles aren't seen as the thing you flick on the wall. It's the thing that you can, Combine, but if you can partner up your product with something which is already has cultural significance, I think that's where you can start to change this game. You can start to change this dialogue about pickles being cool again. Take something which is traditionally, and I think you think your creativity is required here, and you need to reinvent the, the, the brand of pickles. And so, my submission is you need to go back to the customer and find out what's the reason that um, what's stopping you, and you need to address that problem. Because it's a consumption, it's a, it's, a, it's a cultural behavioral consumption problem. And my submission to you is that you've actually got an incredible product. It tastes incredible. I love it. It's just you've got a perception challenge within the Australian psyche. And I think you can create a movement off the back of that if you lean in to it.